Welcome to Lot. You probably decided to play Lot because it's free and you spawn it with a great chain, or even worse, you're chainless. And you have no idea how to play the game. In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know how to play Lot. And trust me, I have a lot of hours on this game. Like a lot of hours. Like, it's not even funny. If you ever get confused on the video, don't forget that the game does have a trailer, which explains everything, which I have linked in the description below. And let's get started. The first thing is what platform you're going to be playing on. Lock only supports two platforms, which is console and PC. If you're playing on console, the game is going to be a little bit harder, but if you're on PC, then like, you're doing all your controls, bro. Like, the game, like, literally tells you. Like, it's not that hard. Autos. It's where you play with your friends and people. You just want to grind the elo for the game and get money. Customization. Um, everything related to your character is going to be happening here. So this is where you're going to roll for your weapons. The rarities are common all the way to it, like unique. And yeah, that's where you just customize your character and how much to it. Uh, team customization. This is where you make your team, your outfits. You can make custom ones and upload them. So yeah, this is gonna look funny, all that stuff. Not too important here. Also, for the team icons, you need to use t-shirts. Trophy room. Um, not too important, it's just where they show all the winners and like the good players in the game. This eye candy, really. AFK area. It's where you AFK for money. Think of it as like you're playing anime defenders. And then we have private servers. This, you just make a private server and you play in there and practice. They're all free and they have three different maps. So just gotta find which one you like the most. And then we have tasks. It's just like missions you can do for money in the game. So make sure you check those every day. Then we have store. It's where you buy your uh, emote game passes and just like buy a bunny. If you want to go that route, you can always do that. You have settings. So you can like change your like sprint settings. You want to have your chain on and codes. It's like at the bottom right, this is where you put in all the codes. I think I already showed all where all the codes are, but if I didn't, I'll put up the codes again. And that's it for the map locations. So the actual fun part of the video, I actually playing the game. But before you can play, you gotta pick your position. So in luck, there's only five positions. There's strikers, wingers, centers, defenders, and then lastly, goalkeepers. Also, Height is really important in your build. The taller you are, the more shot power you have, the less speed, bigger hitbox, and bigger jump height. The shorter you are, less shot power, more speed, lower hitbox, lower jump height. And as for stamina, 5-3 and 6-3 have the same stamina. The closer you get to the middle, the more stamina you have. That's really important information. That was like updated like today or something. All right, let's get to the dribbling guide. So you can actually just start playing the game. When it comes to dribbling, you'll be using M1 and M2 to dribble. So, there's only two dribbling inputs in the game, directional dribbling and straight dribbling. Most people use directional dribbling and what directional dribbling is, is that the ball literally just go in the direction you're dribbling at. So you have more control with the ball. I recommend if you're new to the game, you should be using this. And a lot of good people use only this dribbling input. The second dribbling input is straight deliver. The second dribbling input is straight dribbling, which people don't really use, but I started using it and it's pretty good. So basically what it does is that every movement you do with the ball will go forward. So the ball will never go at an angle, the ball will always go straight. And this throws off a lot of defenders because most people don't expect you to be using straight dribbling and you can kind of be cool with it, I guess. It does have its uses, so I would say learn directional dribbling first and then learn straight dribbling and then mix it up. You can switch between these inputs by pressing one on your keyboard and it will switch to straight or to directional dribbling. Now, there's only really four ways to dribble in this game. We have chops, raise, flicks, and then chest dribbling slash air dribbling. So what chops are is basically you right clicking and turn your camera really fast so you can throw people off and bait them too. So there's two ways you can do this. You can let the ball go loose a little bit and then right click it or M2 it back into you to snap it or M2 and then turn your camera away fastly. So this basically just gets the finish to spam right click and you can get an ankle break and you can get through. Raise flick, raise dribbling. It's basically when you look up, right click and you M1. So the faster you click M1, 
the short of the bar goes. So if you wait and then M1, the ball will go really high and then drop. So if you keep on doing this, you can kind of like make the ball float a little bit and then repeat it all over again, which is pretty broken. Um, and then flicks. So flicks are really important if you're going to go, if you're going to be on a short height. So I recommend you to be 5'3 to like 5'6 to be doing flicks. Maybe 5'7 and 5'8. But well, flicks are basically you want to be ahead of the ball and you want to aim forward kind of diagonally and a little bit up. And then once you M2, the ball should move you smoothly. So this is makes it so hard, really hard for defenders to get the ball from you, especially when you're short height and have speed to catch up the ball. So you want to be spamming these a lot and then mixing it up with uh, the other dribbling. So you know you're doing it correctly when the ball like moves forward with you. If the ball goes up or goes really fast, then you did it wrong. And then the last dribbling style is chest chest strap dribbling. So basically you M2, look up into the at sky, and then when the ball's about to drop, you M1, so you chest strap. So you only want to use this if you're like about six foot or you have like a or like a trait like athlete or bunny to make it so you jump higher. So basically nobody can get the ball from you when you do this. So it's really easy to do, it's one of the easier uh dribbling styles. You're gonna be careful with this though, because after two or three jumps, jump fatigue will start to kick in. And basically what that is, is um the more you jump, the shorter your jump gets. So you wanna be watching out for that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the dribbling section of this video. Alright, you made it to the end of the video. So if you have any questions about love, just comment them in the comment section and I'll be quick to respond to them. Also, if you don't know, I made a Discord server. So if you want to join that, I have a link in the bio. All the links that I mentioned and everything important will be in the bio slash description. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope the video is useful. If you want more like content, subscribe locked and uh yeah see you on the next video